times. I'm amazed that anything gets done on this planet with the way everyone is always in a hurry to get nowhere. The only thing anyone is rushing to is old age. The more patient a person is, the faster they learn. And so, humans are generally thinking creatures with their own nature about them, which relates more so to their astral body, which is their emotions. Being more of a feeling entity than a sensible person is the main reason for the dramatic situations that occur in one's life. So the better to understand the nature of one's dream visions, they must first learn to be patient with themselves and learn to pace their life with what is real and true. Being creative is something all of us do. But when it overtakes our life and to where the whole of life is lost, to the small little creations of the human ego, then the eventual effects start showing up. The whole of life is always makes sense. And the creative parts will always be self-limiting, no matter how brilliant the person is. You have some ideas about that? Well, what we're relating doesn't exist. So the question is, how can you relate something that doesn't exist? How can you share it? And that's the challenge for the new presentation is, is for the literal mind, personal self, what we're talking about here doesn't exist. So how can we get this across? What, what, what does in reality exist as, as the, what we call the real universes and the isness, the all isness. And like it was mentioned before, it's a perception. All, all you can do is really see it and, and then support it in your own way. But you, you've got to perceive it because it's not going to, um, you know, it's not relating to anything in creation. So that's why we say take the risk. You've got to step out of creation and your personal ideas of things to see it. And that's about all, all we can say. I mean, we can, I mean, Dwayne has given so many hints and so many references, but in actuality, there's only so much you can say. And then, then from there, the person has to take it themselves. They have to, they have to step into the unknown and and explore for themselves because there's only so much. The all the books of wisdom and, and the gurus and the masters can can teach you or tell you, and after that, it's up up to the person. And um, that's where a lot of people don't want to go there because they're so used to being told what to do. So this is a new era in a sense. A new, new, uh, you know, people talk about the new age and the ra- raising of consciousness and the ascension and and all this. Well, in a way, this is it. This is the this is that. But they don't even recognize it. They think it's going to come in the form of what they're used to. You know, it's just another another form of creation, but but better, supposedly. But this New Age movement, maybe it's demonstrating, it's hinting at what the new presentation is presenting. It's just, it's really an involvement, evolution in in seeing how people see reality. And it's uh, quite unique. There's nothing like it been ever here on the planet. One of, one of and we're given. Is for, go ahead, Tim. What'd you say? Sorry. Oh, I was just. What'd you say? I was just going to mention how um, we're given these hints and and gifts of like singing 
new you, 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 doing sessions for like 15 minutes before we go to sleep at night and, and letting life show us what's real. If we're sincere, we're showing the universal guides, and they know, it sounds like, who is ready to have the opportunity to find out for themselves, not to be convinced by somebody else, so we have the new you, you, you song, and then we have the um, books wrote by Dwayne, the great writer, the Adventure Is series and that are available for people to read and get to. Yeah, go ahead, Byla. <laughs> no, that's great. That's really good. When a person is Baby faced steps. with a decision, what? I'm sorry, oh, I was Kim. Saying what, we, what did you say? We, I say we're just starting out in the darkness and, and seeing some light. So we take our baby steps as we're getting our hints to to um, for the guidance and the education that life's offering. When a person is faced with a decision that has more than one side to to it, there sometimes becomes a conflict, thus creating dreams from the unconscious. The person involved may become overwhelmed by their decision on which way to go, and so therefore has symbolic dreams. If the situation is to where the person has trouble going either way, the dream will portray itself to the person uh, unable to move from where they are or possibly a struggle moving with the stronger of choices as they desire direction. So unless a person can achieve all these directives, it will be most certain the final choice will go to the strongest wish. And so it is almost certain the direction will be the most emotional element involved because most people are more influenced by their emotions than their rationality and reasoning. On this level and the next two, the astral and the mental worlds, love is binding. And so, as most humans keep considering their emotional responses to be love, they will continue to build themselves the reality of who they really are. Real love and emotion are two different things. But to those who are led only by the appearance of things and their senses, they will have to continually struggle to find real happiness in a world which has little sensibility to it for most humans. Actually, real happiness is such a rarity, and even those who experience the greatest emotional sensations have not achieved real happiness. I cannot properly explain what it is, but the majority of people with whatever they have in their lives do not have it. So for the most part, when a person is in love or desires of another, they are not seeing the imperfections of the other person right away, but as time goes on, and they continue to experience their partner, a new perception of them always emerges. And as people get older and they stay with their mates, it may be more so out of tradition and some kind of obligation because deep down inside, they may want to leave or have a new life as all of us want to evolve 
and experience what we cannot yet recognize. Our physical experience here is such a small window of seeing what life really is all about as it does not provide the real picture. I am providing a huge number of views and nothing here is absolute. And as each of us has free will, we can always change anything. What I am standing here is what all thinking is not free in the terms one would consider or even imagine. Just because a person can think and do whatever they want to, this is an arena of cause and effect. So they are always consequences and for our actions. All around us, there is a created world of entities and senses. From the things that we see and the things that we want to what is seen on TV and every place that we go, where there is a constant bombardment of advertising to get out attention and to make a decision for us to buy or to do something whether we want to or not. A free thinker knows their direction and it is not aimed at anything of a material sense of failure that will soon show up. To live in this world and do what one is part of the life of being human. But to give one's life to just to this level of appearance is surely surrender. That surrenders one real awareness to more unconsciousness. The idea of the process we must all go through is to become more aware to the true sense. It is a radical approach to take the time to discover the hidden secrets of ourselves, which have eluded us for millions of years without our knowledge that it has been so. Even with all that I'm presenting here, it is still not enough to remedy the searching and provide the answers one is looking to find. But this is the best place to start. The real guides are the most exceptional beings, and they alone know the hidden secret and secret way into the whole of life as it really is. Reality is always here and now and never in the past. What took place yesterday is gone. And so each person must decide to discover what is new right now. Those who market the past events are safe. Fine. And those who market the past events will soon discover that the, what is new right now. Those who, met, who market the past events are salespeople who want their commission for the false promises they are selling. The real guides will show anyone how they are being fooled by today's tradition and antics of their dream visions. Please continue. Bell, Dean Bell, or Tim? What say, you guys? Okay, so the real universe is the, the here and now is, is not a static. It's not like you've made it to the here and now and and that's it. It's it's ongoing. It's a, always a new here and now. And same with the real guides. They're always uh, becoming more aware. They just because they they've reached a certain level, um, it, it doesn't mean that they've 
reach the finishing line, it's, it's always more. There's always more to to see and perceive. So it's kind of neat the way it works, the, the reality of life. It's not what a lot of people think, where you're going to live happily ever after and you take it easy. Well, there's some of that in the, in the creation worlds where you go and take a rest in some astral heaven, but then you, as you, you come back. But in the real universe, is it's always becoming more aware. It's always, there's no, you know, there's no, like, uh, it's not a finish. It's, it's always something else. And that's the adventure of life. It's just, there's always something new around the corner. Trying to find this wonderful. Would you go to the Pacific and find 109? 109. I've got new glasses, y'all. <laughs> and they certainly aren't doing justice to me. They're at the bottom, the very bottom, of them, and they're written. I've got an old book that I just wouldn't part with for the world. It was given to me by my children. And uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow was in it, and uh, and uh, they're just they're just great at the very at the bottom. They're written out when day is done. That's the one I was looking for. The day is done, and this is uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. I know I'm. I'm reminiscing here, but I'll tell you. <laughs> Sometimes wisdom comes in many different directions. And I'm just going to say this is a... Um, he was born in 1882. Born February 27th, 1804. And he died in March 28th, 1882. The day is done... And the darkness falls from the wings of night as a feather is wafted downwards from an eagle in his flight. I see the lights of the village gleam through the rain and the mist and a feeling of sadness comes over me that my soul cannot resist. However, this is a very sad poem but it has the most beautiful thing because we are about to say good night to you all and hope that you have enjoyed our little stories tonight. So I will end with this. Um, No, Good night. Happy the, dreams. I love them. Pardon me? No. I said good night. Happy dreams. We'll share the new you, you, you song. New you. Yes, let's sing you. Let's sing the new you. New you, 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 you. I can't find it. Good night, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, good night. Okay. Happy dreams. <laughs> Thanks okay. for the show again. See ya. Okay, bye.